Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to do some more videos here. Or, I keep saying videos. I mean, technically, yes, we're doing videos, but I mean lists, categories, awards from me to no one, giving you nothing. It's the best deal anybody could ever ask for. Our new category here probably would be better if I had friends. I mean, that's just a good statement. Just a blanket statement, just tossing that out there. But I more mean these games would be much more enjoyable if I had somebody to play them with, which I don't most of the time. Sometimes, most of the time, no. So, we're going to start here at the top. Snipper Clips. I have not played much of this at all. Very little. Um, I hear people enjoy it. Again, this is my list, not your list. So this is things relating to my experiences. So I feel like it would be just disingenuous of me to try to pretend like I have anything to say about this game. Um, besides a very brief demo I played with, I think, nobody else. So, see you later. Jackbox, of course. It goes without saying. Um, it stays on the list. I mean, it's not necessarily winning, but it stays on this list. Disc Jam. That game's not even that good. I mean, sure, it'd be better if you play with somebody like on the couch co-op style. If it even has couch co-op, I'm sure it does. Uh, Mutant Football League, I think, came out this year. I backed in on Kickstarter, and I got a demo early. I didn't jive with the demo too well, but it was of the pre-released game, so I never actually played the final version. I don't think. Maybe I did, but it just it wasn't doing it for me. Again, if I had someone to play with, Maybe I would have enjoyed it more, but for now, that goes away. Puyo Puyo, Tet Puyo Puyo Tetris was actually pretty enjoyable. Me and my friends actually had a lot more fun with it than I would have imagined. This game here, Mario Kart Deluxe, is fine all by itself, actually. Sure, it would be better if you played it with friends, but I don't know if that's dependent upon having people to play it with. So, that actually can go... Same goes for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. That game is perfectly fine by itself. It probably would be better if I had friends to play it with, just like the category says. But it's not. These other games are almost necessary. This is not. Friday 13th, yeah, that stays. Splatoon 2 actually doesn't really matter if you have friends to play that with or not because there's no voice chat in that game anyway so you're basically playing alone even if you are playing with a group of people destiny 2 is a very fun um co-op campaign crucible is fun like all of that is real good in destiny 2 but i did also have a lot of fun with it alone um but i did play a lot of this game i played i played more destiny 2 with people than i did destiny 1 i think and i enjoyed it it was fun, so it stays for now. Foxhole is a big confusing game that I only tried once, didn't really understand, but goddamn, I can only imagine how probably fucking cool it is to have, like, these giant battles with a bajillion... Every little person you see on the screen is somebody somewhere being that person, and that's really cool, but I didn't play enough of it um, for me to have a real opinion on it, but I bet it's fucking great if you got friends. Um, this is just straight up, this would be better if you had someone on the couch next to you. Nidhogg 2, very fucking fun game. I played through the whole thing alone, um, against not even anyone online. I played just the computer, and I had a pretty good time with it, so I can only imagine how much better that is when you got someone sitting right next to you, just going crazy. Um, Ghost Recon is another game where I haven't played enough. To really have an opinion on it so I do know that this game was really made to be played with people but I don't know enough about it Star Wars Battlefront 2 also just a shitty game all around but probably better with somebody Hitman is a weird one because um, this isn't a multiplayer game but if you have somebody there with you helping you figure things out helping you come up with ideas just watching you try to do things and fail try to do things and succeed and having just a good fucking time this is actually a great game to play with somebody next to you who just enjoys watching games um, so that I like that being on the list because that is a different way of thinking about playing a game with somebody that I enjoy 
Like I feel like that's a guaranteed spot on the list. If anything, you know, honorable mention or whatever. But Fortnite Battle Royale. Sure. I mean, that game would probably be great with a bunch of people, but it's also probably the same type of thing as uh, Battlegrounds. So I haven't played it enough. Gang Beast requires friends. That game's no fun um, if you're playing online. Uh, Hidden Agenda also, like, literally requires people. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that game, it's one of those weird phone games. It's like Jackbox, except Jackbox plus Until Dawn plus nothing else, really. Just those things. <laughs> Um, so it stays there for now. Of course, Monopoly, but whatever, it's Monopoly. But you don't need to be on this list. Rec Room is kind of a fun one to think about having friends, hanging out in the common area, going and playing paintball, all that stuff. Probably really cool. Both Rec Room and Rigs. I would like to have a, a good VR multiplayer experience, but I haven't had one, and I don't know how great it is. But I'm sure it, it's probably pretty good. So. Which one of these do I have the most fun playing with somebody around? We're going to go... I'm almost kind of tired of the Jackbox games, though. Like, They're almost too easy. Like, too easy to have fun with. Um, I feel like I want to give it to just these three right here. Because I feel like these games I will not play. I will not turn on unless I have somebody there with me. And then Hidden Agenda as maybe that's like the shout out type of thing. I mean, I obviously won't play Jackbox unless someone's with me also. But I'll play Puyo Puyo. I'll play Friday the 13th. I'll play Destiny without somebody with. But yeah, these games... I'm actually going Hitman. The non-multiplayer game is getting... Number one, for it would be better if I had somebody there with me playing it. Nidhogg 2, you're going to. Gang Beast, pretty fun if you got somebody there with you. Hidden Agenda. Honorable mention. It's a good list. I like that. Um, I want to play all those games, like right now. Except for maybe Hidden Agenda, but I've played through that three times now, I think, so it's kind of ran its course for me. It's 20 bucks. I got my money's worth, I think. Like, fucking 10 hours of enjoyment. So, yeah. There you go. Save it. Print it. Stamp it. Throw it in the garbage. And say hello to your new car. I've been doing this for a while. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Hitman. Nidhogg 2. Gang Beasts. Hidden Agenda. Get yourself some goddamn friends. Play those games. Come back around for another video of me talking about games that give me... Or no, have the... Uh, I was going to say, give me the best feels. But no, games that just feel good to play. We're doing that one next. See you then.